in these works that I uh, might refer to, um, there are different situations and they're not all politically active people, but if, for instance in the film Betty and Daisy that I shot in 2011-12 in Brazil, there very much is, because this is a meeting between a woman, um, two women, one is an actress, a uh, novella actress, telenovela actress, but she was a very uh, active person in Brazilian politics, first in the 60s as an activist against the uh, dictatorship, and she was actually in an armed cell, even, as a novella actress, which intrigued me already. And then she stopped doing that, but in the late 70s she was very active in the workers' movement and was part of the founding, uh, the group of founders of the PT, the party of Lula, who later in 2004 came to power. And then she even served in politics as a, I think as a senator, and later as a, somebody in Sao Paulo running uh, the cultural department. But anyway, so she did a lot on that level, and I find it very intriguing that she was a telenovela actress, which is the, like, the least political acting almost that you can do, but maybe not, you never know, like there was this question that I had to her. And then I invited her to meet uh, a funk singer who is like much younger, 30 years younger, who in her texts, she's a, a singer of this uh, style that is called funk de favela or baile funk, people know it like this, which is a very rough rap type of music coming mainly from the, well, actually only from the favelas, the slums from Rio de Janeiro. And, but very, very strong texts and very explicit, sexually, uh, whatever. But in the 2000s, and especially 2003 to five, some female voices came out. And I was very interested in these female voices because it's a very male, quite strong, fairly violent type of um, music scene. And these voices were really interesting how they were asserting themselves like as women in those strong, complicated realities that they come from. So what came out there? And then I was all, yeah, I always had like an interest in this music form and also in these women. And then I found this moment where I thought maybe it's interesting to bring these two women together. And then especially this conflict of the older form of politics that Betty adheres to, which is really about representational politics and <clears throat> fighting for that what you represent, which is like those who are less favored in society, etc., and making those rules. And Daisy, who is actually from that group of, let's say, the less favored in society, but asserts herself in completely different ways. And, is, and then what I actually found during the filming, which was for me also, again, is a, was a, like a surprise or a, a learning thing, that um, th however sympathetic and willing they were and, and even loving to each other and, and interested in each other, there were some really big differences and unrecognized the things they, they could not recognize each other. Somehow they just, there was such a big gap. And that became more and more apparent actually the longer I was with them and filming and they were talking, how that was a tension and friction between, again, the forms I think. They, they didn't, Betty certainly did, did not see Daisy as a potentially political voice. She just felt like she's not sticking to the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was one of the lines. I mean, there are many other lines as well, but I found that really interesting um, to see that tension happening. So, for, and I think I also, I, I, I do invite these people because I, I don't know, because I don't know this reality, I don't know this knowledge, I don't have this knowledge, and I find it so interesting to see it being uh, opened up and, and, and unpacked in front of, uh, in front of my, my camera as well. <laughs>